my skin. Take off my skin and play with my insides. In all fairness, the last person who asked me to do that did let me shit in their mouth, so maybe I should. Why don't you just open the packs? Who the fuck are you? Oh, I'm just, um, I'm just like a physical embodiment of your conscience. So that we can have a bit of a monologue and people at home will know what's going on. Right, my, you're my conscience. Um, so where are you when I'm making inappropriate fisting jokes at work? Oh, yeah, I am. Well, the problem is I'm normally just eating crisps, playing League of Legends, having a wank. Right. Ah, uh, fair enough, okay. Um, well... I'll go on, just open the packs. No, I can't open the boosters, I need to keep them for drafting. I'll just open the packs, you always just go 0-3 when you're drafting and no hey. one your company anyway. Well, that's... Well, that's not strictly true. Actually, no, you're completely right. I normally go zero three, and no one will join my company. Um, yeah, fuck it. I'll open them. Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can you stop saying yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you can you stop saying yeah now? Because it's starting to make me feel really uncomfortable. Just open the fucking packs. Yeah! Yeah! No, seriously. Just open the fucking packs. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. I got a little bit excited about opening some packs. I'm gonna go back to playing me. Open me. So yeah, I was going to say these packs were drafting, but I might as well just crack on them. So, I got these packs for winning, um, or coming second at a pre-release. I played quite a few pre-releases all weekend. And, uh, I don't know why I paused for so long there. Um, let's open this up and let's get a arc bond. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Not very exciting. Let's pack. So I'll probably say that again without almost choking on myself. I without choking myself to death even. I can't even talk, I'm so fucking excited to open some Fate Forge packs. So yeah, I went to a pre-release, did okay, um, came second. Uh, that's not a fetch land. And uh, won nine packs. That's also not a fetch land, because that one's a foil blossom sounds. And that's a uh, red green legendary dragon. So that's okay, but not fantastic. So I'll try to say it again and slowly open this pack. I'm literally a mess from actually trying to film that little bit frantically a moment ago. Spirit token, blood fell case, and uh, Dagmar the Adamant. So that's the Khan for the Absent Club. So he's okay, but again, not massively playable, I don't think. Um. So yeah, I played four weekends, did okay. Let them really. I won two packs one time, opened up to garbage. I won nine packs. I opened one pack in the store because someone pressured me to. And I opened a mythic. I opened the Grand Fire Soul Mastery guy. Oh, I opened the uh, the Temu Khan as well. So that's three legendaries so far out of all those packs. So I opened shit loads of mythics all weekend. I have like 20. How many packs did I open? 24 plus. Twenty-four packs plus three prize packs. I managed to open like eight mythics, maybe nine mythics, which is pretty crazy. So this is just gonna like fucking ruin my camera chances. Master of the Unseen, limited bomb, absolute chaff everywhere else. So that's a shame. I'm not even having any uncommons that I'm gonna try and play in standard or modern. So so far these packs have been a little bit shit. Not shit shit. I always enjoy opening packs and getting cards anyway. So you know I can't say too much. So. Da -da -da! Um, Black Siege, yeah, I don't know, if it's a mono black list then this might see some play, but it's not 100% likely. It's like okay, ADH card though, everyone loses your life during your upkeep, and you gaining that life is pretty good. Right, is this a fetch land? No, this is a monk token, so it's an exciting thing I've opened so far. Is this a fetch land? No, it's a full humble effector, which is meh. Is that a fetch land? That's not a fetch land either. Is this good? It's an outpost siege, that's three out of the five sieges open so far, not fantastic. 
and the last pack now. Uh, so maybe I should have just drafted these packs. Whoopsie! Manifest token. Not a fetch land. I've not opened a fetch in with Forge so far, and this marks sort of like 35 boosters open for me. And an absolute limited bomb. This card is a fucking powerhouse in limited, but it's a bit shit to open in a pack like that. And not a single one of those white uncommons that are good. So, to show you again what they open and things that are mildly exciting, monk tokens are cool. A foil humble defector, maybe it's a cube card for like lower powered cubes or something, probably not. A foil blossom in sands, someone will want that for each or something. Sage Eye Avengers, which is actually a really, really sweet limited card. It's just a shame that it's like the intro pack rare and it will never see any standard place. It's a bit of a shame to crack it in a pack that's sort of like a prize booster. But honestly, that ability is, is mental, and if you see this in draft, it's a very high pick. Um, Wild Slash, which is a strictly better shop for most intents and purposes, so. That might see some place somewhere, maybe in a burn list sometime soon. Reality Shift is another uncommon that I opened in that pack. Those boosters, only one of these. I think this card is standard playable. It removes threats, turns into 2 2 bears. I mean, the 2 2 bears are kind of morph into a Pelucanos, but I still think it's got its applications and its usage. They've got Outpost Siege, which gives card advantage in red or sort of a pseudo backwards Perforce ability where it does one damage when another creature leaves the battlefield. So it's abusable with flicker effects and things like that. So it's maybe a fun. EDH card, but I don't see this making much of a splash in standard. Palace Siege, uh, this card basically allows you to put dead creatures from your graveyard into your hand, which is actually quite good in current standard for the uh, little mill lists like uh, the Sultai and the Abzan mill lists that are running whips, so it's not actually that bad. And the second ability, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's going to be good in EDH when you hit three players for six life and gain six every turn. Um, so maybe in a mono black or some sort of mill list and standard, possibly. This card, Master of the Unseen, makes 2-2 two -two bears all the time and gains you a shitload of life for 2 mana and 4 mana activation to make the 2-2 two -two bear. In limited, being able to make a 2-2 two -two bear for 4 mana is pretty damn good. I mean, people will all know that things like Ant Queens and stuff can take over the games in limited, so this is a bit of a limited bomb. Not quite as bomby as some of the other cards that I've opened, but... Speaking of bombs, here's the Temur Khan. It gets to steal a creature at the beginning of combat every turn for just a low, low cost of three mana. It's also a 4 2 trample for three, so the body and evasion style ability is actually still pretty good. And add Ice and Tack Kick, it's a warrior, so in limited again, you get to, on rare occasion, play some sort of Abzan warrior list where it gets to gain life and can punch you through the face with a rush of battle. Uh, then we've got another human warrior. He's talking about 4 mana. This guy is 0 0 because when he comes to the battlefield, you get 4 plus 1 plus 1 counts on him. He's vigilant, he's the Khan for Abzan, and his ability for 3 mana allows you to move a plus 1 plus 1 counter from top creature onto a second creature. So it has its applications. Um, standard, probably not, but like casual, EDH. Um, definitely limited, you'd, you'd pick it relatively highly. I probably wouldn't pick him over some removal, but you know. And then obviously, we've got one of the bombiest rares in the set, of maybe the blue black dragon. This guy has a really high mana cost, so he's probably better in sealed than he is draft, but still I'd play a 7 mana, I win the game unless you answer this card in draft. This guy is a 6-4 flying trample creature that gains uh, double shot when he attacks, which means basically he just kills your opponent outright, boom, dead. And then there's Bond, which is a funny card in limited because you get to blow up the whole board with different creatures or gain a million life with life linking creatures. So it's not bad, it basically just turns target creature into a Boros Reckoner, apart from without the, uh, the relevant body and the first strike ability and the devotion. You get the point. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, then I'll click the subscribe button that's on the screen now, and I'll make some more videos of card openings and shit and funny shit and shit sometime in the future, uh, maybe when I'm not choking on my own fucking vomit or whatever I was doing in this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.